What is going on guys and girls? My name is James Hothixy and welcome back today to Subnautica. How are we doing everyone? Welcome back, welcome back. Today, we've got some plans lads. We've got some serious plans because yes, I think I want to go on a little bit of an adventure. So, I mean, we've got a few things that we want to do, uh, but obviously this thing has intrigued me for some time. So we unlocked this information ages and ages ago when we got stabbed in the hand by some weird little alien tentacle thingamajiggy. And uh, out of the two things that we've done so far, well, actually, 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 we've done the disease research facility. Uh, we haven't yet gone down to the thermal power facility, which sounds super dangerous, depth 1,200 meters. But of course, nowadays, we have Mr. Cyclops who for some reason, oh no, I've parked, oh okay, <laughs> I've just realised, I have no window overlooking Mr. Cyclops, isn't that sad, that's so sad, he's kind of hiding somewhere, you know what, you know what, you know what, you know what, actually hang on, bear with, bear with, we could technically, can we see him, oh, are you sneaky little, oh here we go, hey, there he is, okay, he's a little bit higher up, <laughs> okay, so today, what I want to do is I want to get some bits and pieces made so that we can actually have like a bit more of an upgraded Cyclops and I want to actually start the journey to wherever this thing actually is. So its location is inside an extensive natural rock formation in an area of intense volcanic activity. Oh geez. Um, where would that be? Where would that be? Inside an extensive natural rock formation? I mean, there's a few areas on the map which are kind of like mountainous areas. I might have to go and look at like a map of Subnautica. <laughs> this is the one thing I wish this game had. So like if you Google Subnautica map, then you have like a picture and it's like, boom, it shows you where all the biomes are and stuff. It's super, super good. I wish you could have that in the game and like you could actually like just click the letter M and boom. A little map would pop up. It would make life so much easier, but no. Oh yeah, as well as that, I actually finally found the area where we can get this blood oil, which is pretty, pretty, pretty grim name, but um, it's really, really close. So like I, um, it's called like the blood kelp zone or something like that. It's over in this direction. It's only about 600 meters away. So I just went there and I grabbed myself some of this blood oil because it makes benzene. The only thing I didn't realize is that we need three per oil. Oh, are you kidding? They're really big. Look at the size of them. They take up four spaces. Ah, okay. So maybe, just maybe, we might actually need to go and get some more of those. I'm not too sure. The good news is, though, is they're, like, super close, which is awesome. Just another little perk of this base location. Uh, if I point you in the right direction, it's... it's. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> so you see where this, uh, like, mountain dips? It's literally 600 meters straight and then a little bit down. About 300 meters down and then boom. We get to like the blood kelp zone. So happy days, really. It's pretty decent. Oh yeah, as well as that. Also went and did a little bit more of a harvest uh, because like sometimes you kind of hit like a bottleneck of something that you really, really need to get. Uh, and the one thing that I'm struggling with right now is silver. Weirdly, I don't have too much silver, but I did manage to, oh. <laughs> okay, I accidentally crafted the item that I wanted to craft. I double clicked. Oh dear. Okay, well we've made it. So there we go. Look at that. So this is the one that I wanted to make. Uh, this is the Cyclops sonar upgrade, uh, which scans the terrain outside the Cyclops and displays it on a 3D map in the cockpit. That just sounded cool, so I thought we'd make one. But what I'm working towards here is uh, this one, the engine efficiency module, and I would also like to make the shield generator. Um, so this one is benzene, this is polyaniline. Now polyaniline is made from hydrochloric acid, and hydrochloric acid is made from... It's made from salt, and, and, and something else. I've forgotten. Oh jeez. Oh yeah, mushrooms. Acid mushrooms. Um, so yeah, we, we can kind of do that. Oh, look at this. Hey! Oh yeah, we got another upgrade to a Cyclops sausage. Okay, um, come on, come on, come on. Get down the ladder, get down the ladder. So, I want to go and make some... What the heck is... Come on, what is this witchcraft? Yes, there we go. Hey, all right, cool. So, I want to go and make some uh, hydrochloric acid now. So, the good news is we only need one benzene. Um, so, or do we need two? Oh, I can't remember. My memory's terrible. Uh, let's go and grab ourselves some acid mushrooms. Uh, can I just pick them, or do I actually have to, like... I have to actually pick them up. Okay, uh, so I think I only need three... I think I only need three. So let's... This is the first time I've ever made hydrochloric acid. Oh! Oh, my plants are growing. 
<laughs> okay, awesome. So this is what we did last episode, do you remember? Uh, we went and did like a little bit of a um, kind of a... Well, oh yeah, and of course! Oh, you've grown up! Oh, you're so cute! Don't know what to call you though. You kind of look like a Barney, you know what I mean? This is a pug! This is exactly what this is, this is a pugfish! This is a pugfish! I really like pugs. Pat your face, pat your face. Okay, okay, let's let's stop playing with the pugfish. Um, okay. He's lovely. He's grown up now. I think we could take him outside and stuff, but you know what? I kind of like him in there. I was wondering as well, if we found another type of egg, could we put it in here? Now, obviously, if it's like... The thing is, are the, like, the baby versions, are they all aggressive? Because, I, I mean, there's some really cool aggressive things, which would be, like, quite nice to have little baby versions of. Oh, look. Look! It's a fancy lantern tree! Oh my goodness. Alright, you know what? Plant more fancy lantern trees! Grow! Grow, my beauties! Yeah, I, why did I- why did I grow these again? Are they good? Uh, no, not particularly. <laughs> and I mean, of course, we're gonna have to have a fancy lantern tree, aren't we? Yeah, all of this is growing. That's really good news. Okay, let's stop messing around with the fancy lantern tree. Uh, I got some salt in here. Uh, okay, so this should, in theory, make hydrochloric acid. How do I do hydrochloric acid? Do I need something specific? Benzene, synthetic fibers, aerogel. Oh, do I need to make bleach first? I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. Table coral sample. Okay, so I wonder if I need to do bleach before I can do hydrochloric acid. Let's just give this a go. I don't think I've ever made bleach. So, boom. Is an essential chemical used for cleaning wounds okay. and purifying water. Yes. So I can disinfect water, microorganism free. I'll just use the bleach because why not? Ah, so even if it's like the um even if it's the large filtered water, you can then use a bleach on it and you get more water. Yeah, you get like it's pure though. Or microorganism free. Maybe that's a way. Uh, it's probably something to do with the disease, isn't it? Wait a minute. So how? How do I unlock hydrochloric acid? I'm gonna have to look it up. Um, I've got the right stuff. I've got acid mushrooms and salt, right? Oh, I'm a sausage. I'm a sausage. Unbelievable scene. So it's not acid mushrooms because I thought that the acid in the hydrochloric acid may have come from the acid mushrooms. But no, but no, Subnautica, Subnautica, when it's lovely, lovely ways. I'm joking, I love this game. <laughs> uh, it's not, it's not um, acid mushrooms, it's another one called deep shrooms. And we do not have any deep shrooms. Just terrible, terrible news. Um, so I need to go and get deep shrooms. Huh. Aboard, Captain. I've got a bit of a theory here. I reckon, if I remember correctly, I may have seen like mushrooms. You know, I was because I was just in the blood kelp zone, which is relatively deep. I mean, it's not super deep or anything, but I reckon that there might, 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 might be some deep shrooms there as well. Uh, but the cool thing is, is that if we grab some deep shrooms, then we can grow them, I, I think. I'd imagine so anyway. Um, so let's go back down to where I just was. At least I can kind of show you uh, how close it is to our base. Ooh. I beam in this one? Something tells me I haven't, actually. I think I swam over it. Uh, there's no harm in having a little look-see, is there? Uh, what have we got in here? Oh. Oh, we've been here. No, we haven't. No, we haven't. It's, I thought it was like an open PDA. It's not. Um, where's my scanner? Uh, da, 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 da. Let's put you in numero one for now. Uh, is that a thing? A light stick! Ooh, I've not seen one of those. Hey, new blueprints! Okay, so I definitely haven't been in this. Um, we have a sealed door here. Okay. Is this a repair? I always get the wrong one. <laughs> okay. Random building thingamajiggy. I guess we'll take a look inside. Yeah, so we're on, like, the right track just to get down to the this this blood kelp zone area um i'm hoping there's going to be deep shrooms uh, like worst comes to the worst i can just grab some more of the 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 the, the thingy the stuff we just had um so i can make some more benzene oh food block i'll take you oh 
Oh, I've already got it. A reinforced dive suit. Okay, you know what? I'm going to take it anyway, just because why not? Uh, get some free titanium. Anything else in here? No, I think it's only a little one, isn't it? Oh, there's another supply crate. I'll take the nutrient blocks. They're actually quite useful. Huh. Okay, well, I don't think there's anything else in here. It's only a, it's only a small little wreck, but obviously it's always good to uh, search them. Is there anything on the outside? Anything cool? I'm still looking for that. Oh, 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 oh. No, vehicle upgrade console. We got one of these as well. Man, we've actually done fairly well with, like, the gathering and stuff, I think. But, yeah, I'm still looking for a power cell charger. That's one of the ones that I really want. Uh, I haven't found one yet, but hopefully it won't be too long till we find one. Okay, so there doesn't seem to be too much around here. So let's jump back into Mr. Seamoth. And I think... I can't remember. Do I go down one of these holes to get there, or do I go over the top? I feel like... It just went down naturally. It was about 600 meters... I was about 600 meters away. How far am I away? Yeah, I'm about here, but it was deep. So I think it was... Did I go down one of these holes? Oh, there's another wreck. Oh, jeez. Um... Do I search the wreck, or do I actually do what I want to do? <laughs> this is the thing with Subnautica. It's another one of those games where you just get, like, super distracted. I should search it, shouldn't I? I mean, I'm right next to it. Uh, okay, okay. Let's see what we can... Aha! Here we are. So I think... Although this isn't exactly the area that I was thinking of. Um, Because I, I think I should have gone... Like, we went over a couple of, like, those caves. I think I should have possibly gone over, like, the top of them. Um... But, if I... Let me just clear some space. I, I, I may... Oh, no. Oh, that's where my alien poop is. I was looking for you. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Um, oh, God. I've kind of run out of space here. You know what? I'm going to um, I'm gonna ditch the titanium. Uh, just because... I can always get some more. I think these are deep shrooms. Yes, they are. Woo! we got some deep shrooms. Okay, as I tell you what, the, probably the best way of doing this is... Uh, do I do it like this? Aha. Whoa! Woo! They explode. Okay, I got loads of seeds. Alright, awesome. So I think probably the best way of doing it might just be to grab some of those and then just, like, grow them. Okay, I don't have any room really for this blood kelp. It was supposed to be here somewhere. Oh! Okay, there's a roof here. Didn't see the roof. Uh, let's get out of <laughs> Let's get out of here. I swear, like, it was 600 meters away. I definitely went in the right direction. Ow! God, this roof is terrible. Get out of this cave, man. Huh. How do I get out? Oh, yeah, okay. So we're really close to Sea Trader's path, I think. God, the Sea Traders are so cool. Uh, all right. Let's go and head back home. So I'm going to go and grow some mushrooms. It may take, like... Oh, for goodness sake, how do I get out of here? I appear to have found something. Um, I was looking for the, uh, the blood kelp, and I went down one of the things, and there appears to be some alien... Activity going on around here. Should I go and should I go and explore it? Um, I suppose it wouldn't hurt to just have a little sneaky cheeky look here and sort of see what's cracking. This is so well hidden. Are you kidding? <laughs> okay. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. What color? Okay. I've got a purple one. I always carry a purple one and an orange one with me, just in case. Ah. Oh. Okay, so it's like an ion cube factory. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. So, I mean, I guess it kind of just wants us to take some cubes, which I will gladly do. I wonder, like, do you reckon sometimes these things give you different locations? That would be really cool. There's six ion cubes down here. We just got enough space, which is good news. <laughs> okay. Uh, data terminal. Alien sanctuary. New PDA data. No way. Huh. Okay. Well, that's just so random. That's just completely randomly found, but 
I mean, that's really good news, isn't it? So, alien data, terminal data, alien sanctuary. Okay. Architectural information has been downloaded regarding this. Oh, it's an antechamber. Okay. The structure mounted to the ceiling on the cavern cast a low green light over the data hubs below. Uh, but they're also regulating the pH level of the surrounding water and emitting a low frequency sound wave. It is possible the intent was to ensure ideal conditions for practical end, but their purpose may have also been ceremonial or even recreational in nature. Ornate in design, the, cu the cubes mounted on the pedestals are not being drained of power, suggested they serve some more symbolic purpose. Similarities to old earth religious iconography may be coincidental, but there is all, uh, but may also indicate some shared or ancient cultural history. Oh, so it's basically just like a little shrine. Huh. Cool, what a random find. Okay, so in theory, now that we've just got ourselves some of the deep shrooms, ha ha ha, there we go, look, we can unlock it. <laughs> awesome. Okay, uh, unfortunately, we're gonna need three. That's a bit annoying. I've just planted some more though. So I guess we just have to wait for them to grow. Uh, not ideal. I thought it would just be one, but I mean, how long do you reckon the deep shrooms take to grow? Hopefully not too long. Like the other ones don't take that long. I guess we just got to keep an eye on them. Um, okay. Well, we went slightly around the houses on that episode, but the cool thing is we managed to find a couple of different areas. Uh, we managed to suss out a few things. So I'm kind of thinking, uh, like, we're not going to have time today to, like, go out on our mission. But what I'm thinking about doing is maybe for next episode, um, we can... I'll go and make those modules, and then we'll literally, like, as soon as we start the episode, we'll jump into um, Mr. Cyclops, and we will go to try and find this area. I think that's probably the best way of doing things. Um, you can, I get so distracted in this game. Like, it's just, there's just too much stuff to do. It's amazing. <laughs> well, yeah. Okay, so, uh, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, please remember to poke me in that like button. And if you're not yet subscribed, go for it, because we do Subnautica done fun. But until next time, thank you once again for watching. It's been such a pleasure. As always, thanks. Rantio!